Hey guys, it is Funny Gamer here, and today I will be playing in the latest Minecraft screenshot, which is a screenshot 19w34a. So if you didn't know, in this screenshot it was just it was just uploaded yesterday. There is the new mob called Bees. So if you, as you can see around here, I there's a few blocks that you may not know exist. So if you would like to know and get up to date on all the new bee things, I will be making another video about just bees. But for this video, I will be showing you how to make a bee farm. So. As you can see here, there are actually three different types of bee farms. I will be going over each one. But first, let's start with what you should do before you go into the bee farm. So, I would recommend having a cow nearby so you can get milk. It seems some bees like the cow for some reason. But, um, so because I won't demonstrate it. But if you hit a bee, all of the nearby bees will come and attack you, poisoning you, and the milk will help you get back to, into your house so in time, without dying. So, yeah, that's why it's a good idea to, just, to bring milk with you. And then you need bottles for, um, for the honey that comes from the beehives and then you also need shears for honeycombs now I'll show you how this works so right here is our first one we will be going over this is the natural one so if you look around the world after a while you're probably going to find a tree with a, honey a honeycomb on it or a bee's nest, sorry. And then if you shear that bee's nest, you will get three honeycomb. It seems they have spread around. If I go around three, okay. So yeah, you'll, you'll know when these are full, because now I can't shear it again. But when they're full is when the honey is pouring out and there is honey in these two holes. So, we can shear all of these, and that's not a good thing. Okay, so, I guess I just demonstrated to you what happens if you mess with a beehive. So, yeah, right there. This one's still full. Oh, and they still don't like me. So, yeah. Maybe we should go on to the next one. But anyways, you can drink the honey bottles. And it'll restore three hunger bars. Or six hunger points. Which is pretty good. The only problem is, is they're not stackable. So you can't put, you can't have 64 honey bottles in one slot, which is very annoying. Now I think the bees have calmed down, so anyways, as you can see, if you shear these, you get honeycombs, and then you can use those honeycombs in a crafting table. If you play, it's kind of like bookshelves, but instead of books, you use honeycombs and then wood. So you use the three honeycombs on the, of the middle slot, so like the center, the middle left, and the middle right, and then wood in all the other slots. But anyways, so once you've gotten that, you're going to want to go back here. As you can see, I have a lot of honey honeycomb. But you, you're going to want to put it back in there to store it for later. Also here, you're going to want to have honey bottles. 
or store your honey bottles, your normal bottles. You can put this, well, I can, here, I'll put this honey bottle back in there. You can also have some milk and, of course, flowers. So, what flowers do is they pretty much attract bees towards you. So, if you, if you can breed with the flowers, so then you'll get some tiny baby bees. But be careful because these bees get super hostile if you hit one of them. Kind of like wolves. As you've seen. But anyways, this next one here. These are, um... I forget the name, but they You use honey. It's what I was talking about earlier. And you can... This is like a man-made beehive, pretty much. So, they will put honey in there. Right now, none of them are full. But if you have flowers everywhere for them to pollinate, they'll eventually go back into here and then store honey. And then you'll have to wait a while. As you can see, all the bees like me right now, except for that one. Oh, that's a spider. Let's just take this guy down quickly. Okay, so yeah, as you can see the second one there, you're going to want to have a ton of flowers, so I'd recommend trying to find a nearby flower forest. And so pretty much the perfect place to build this is where there's a honey tree. I don't know if you can mine these honey, honey, I keep getting it mixed up. I don't know if you can mine um, the beehives with silk touch, and I don't know what you would use, but there may it may be possible. I will try that out. But anyways, so you're going to want to find a place where there's a nearby flower forest so you can gather a lot of flowers to breed and make let them pollinate. And you're also going to want to be near a desert or have a ton of sand for the bottles. And you're also going to want a cow, which shouldn't be too hard to find. So I'd recommend making it a flat plains biome because then you'll have more space as you could make this huge. But anyways, we are going to go to the last one here, which is the most contained one. It's like a bee dome. So if we first attack these zombies before they kill us and help the bees don't attack us, here. So anyways, if I go in here, as you can see, they there are some baby bees, some bees. If I bring out poppies, I can breed them and then make more bees. And then, as you can see, you can build this over a tree with a honeycomb on it, and then shear the honeycomb. Or, and you can also place these around, waiting for them to fill up. But anyways... Oh, that's unfortunate. It seems that there are a lot of zombies tonight that are just not leaving me alone. But yes, anyways, I think the bees are a pretty cool add-on. I mean, I would have preferred cave, the cave update for 1.15. But it may, it may still happen, but they may already have different plans, so I guess we'll have just have to wait. But I think this bee snapshot is quite amazing and cool, and at least for me, very unexpected. So, yeah, that will be it for this video, and I hope you've had a nice time. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!